I'm going to talk about a fray. A fray is prescribed under Section 3 of the Public Order Act 1986. Now to put some context into the history of a fray, it used to be that matters involving public order, riot for example, violent disorder, that sort of thing, it all used to be covered under the common law. So it didn't used to be prescribed under legislation. It used to simply be the law is that you don't uh, commit riot and that it was built up from the common law. Then in the 1980s, there were matters such as the miners' strike, uh, such as the Broadwater Farm riots. And as a, as a result of that, in 1986, the Public Order Act was passed. And that was the key flagship um, criminal law legislation of that year, the Public Order Act 1986. And it prescribed riot, it prescribed unlawful conduct, such as a fray such as violent disorder. It was actually put into legislation. So, a fray, Section 3, Public Order Act 1986. It was actually put into law as legislation. And the prescription is where two or more individuals taken together, their behaviour is such as to cause a personal person of reasonable firmness present at the scene uh, to fear for their safety. A few things arise from that. It says two or more persons. It's usually expected to be at least three. And it doesn't actually have to be a person present who fears for their scene. It's a hypothetical uh, person of reasonable firmness present at the scene. The other thing to note is that it can be conducted in public as well as in private. Uh, so there was a, a, an incident, a case where an individual behaved in a public house, in, 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 in the bathroom of a, of a, of a private house. Um, and on that occasion, it was, described, it was decided that an offence had been committed, even though it was in private, it wasn't in public. So for an individual convicted of a fray, the sentence at magistrate's court, maximum sentence, six months imprisonment, and or an unlimited fine. At Crown Court, maximum sentence, three years imprisonment. So a fray isn't the most serious of the public order offences. You have riot, you have violent disorder, then you have section three, a fray, which is an either way offence, so it can be heard either in the Magistrates Court or the Crown Court, and then you get uh, lesser offences below that than the section four, or section five. So a fray sort of forms midway into the public order offences. That's demonstrated by the fact that it's an either way offence, so it can be heard at the magistrates in front of a bench of three magistrates or a district judge. Or alternatively, it can be heard at the Crown Court in front of a jury. The jury would decide whether or not the individual was guilty of the offence, and if the jury concluded that the individual was guilty of the offence, then it would be for the judge to pass a sentence, and the maximum sentence that a judge can pass on an individual convicted of a fray is three months, three years, pardon, three years in prison. Uh, the only other thing to say in connection with a fray is that sometimes you'll have a situation where a fray is charged with another offence, for example, um, actual bodily harm. Now, in those situations, if you had an individual who went to the magistrate's court, tried in the magistrate's court, and they were convicted of both actual bodily harm, which is an either way offence, and a fray, which is an either way offence, those sentencing powers of the magistrates in that situation, where you have two or more either way offences uh, which have been convicted by the magistrates, the sentencing powers in the magistrates' courts in those situations can be increased up to 12 months. So a fray, it used to originally be a common law offence, Back in the 1980s, that was changed under the Public Order Act, under Section 3, 1986, to legislation. So a fray, it comes below riot and violent disorder, and above Section 4, Section 5, summary only offences.